What? Oh, gosh, it's bright. Uh, I'm gonna try. Oh. Let me try something else. What about this? Uh. All right. Oh, shoot. Yeah, there we go. Anyways, hello, it's me. I'm in the dark again. Again. This is the third time. You don't need to watch the first two times in order to understand this time. Although, if you haven't seen the first two times, you should, because they're good. All right, so, what to do in the dark. Um, first option that you need to assess is your lighting situation. Right now, I am using a flashlight. I don't know what type. It takes like a double A battery, I think. But then we have different options, like, uh, one sec. <laughs> Lantern, I kind of just showed this off. It's pretty good uh, for walking around. You can walk with it, so. Uh, next. Now you can't really see me with it on, and that shows how bright it is. It's uh, a headlight lamp thing. Yeah. Now this is great for wondrous, oh my gosh, no. It's super bright, so you might wanna keep it out of your eyes, but it's great for, for looking. The only thing is it's really loose sometimes. Uh, so if you kinda just flare your, if you flare your head, it'll kind of, shine everywhere but see look my my room doesn't even look very much like it's in the dark so this is a great option it also has different modes look dimmer mode okay and then we got epilepsy mode okay I'm gonna turn that off here's a candle psych it's actually fake um yeah and right here shoot this is a real candle with fire. So the candle is a good option, plus it's a little hot. Uh, so if you're cold, it, it works. And then you can walk up to random people in your house, unless you live alone. Uh, but uh, if, if you don't, you can walk up to somebody in a completely dark room. Although even when the power is out, Unless it's nighttime, it's usually kind of still illuminating. Anyways, if it's nighttime and it's a completely dark room, you walk up to someone, go, hey, hello, and you disappear. And that smells like smoke. <coughs> now you could make the argument that you could do that with a flashlight too. You could be like, hey, what's up? And then, and that is true, but, uh, you know, candles cooler, I think. And then I have one more light, but I have to go get a portable charger from my car, and I don't wanna do that. So it requires like an outlet thing, but not like the outlet, like the box you put on the outlet that like the USB outlet, it requires that. And so I have a portable charger in my car, but I didn't wanna go get it. So I was thinking, oh, I have a computer, a laptop that might still have some battery on it, and I could just plug it into that, and then it would work. So I tried it, oh no, it actually ran out of battery. And then I'm thinking, wait, I have a laptop that I accidentally ran over a couple months ago. It's a different story. It doesn't matter, but it did happen. Anyways, that has battery still in it, so I'm using that to show off this. One sec. One, one more second. Show off this, a ring light. And this is on the highest setting. You can bring it down to the lowest setting and then you can even, uh, you can swap the modes. There's only three. Anyways, uh, it's still, still dark and So I guess I will, I will see you 
the next time that I'm in the dark here, maybe, potentially, unless it's like less than a week or less than a month, probably wouldn't make a, another video that soon about the same topic, but yeah. Oh, hello there.